guys welcome to my curls I'm at the beach look around I'm at Panama City Beach it is a beautiful sunny breezy day I'm sitting on the beach we've already seen dolphins in the water but I wanted to show you what's in my beach bag I thought it would be fun to tell you things that I take with me to the beach things that I love things I absolutely cannot do without if we go to the beach this is what I'm taking I want to start with you got to have music at the beach y'all super important look at this little thing now I am NOT a technology person this is something I never would have even thought to get my husband loves music he loves technology so he bought me this it is called a JBL flip and it is a little Bluetooth speaker that's all it is and you Bluetooth your phone to it and it plays music and y'all this thing rocks like it booms to be just this little thing and you just charge it in your room bring it out to the beach it will play for like two days no joke you've just got volumes you've got on and off and it is super cool so we take this thing wherever we go I keep it in my bag you can set it in the sand it doesn't matter but a JBL flip speaker it is a must at the beach the next thing in my bag gotta have a drink guys this is my arctic drink beverage holder thingy I don't know now it's arctic RTIC and there are other brands on the market I know and they're a lot more expensive and I have some of them but y'all I stick with this arctic brand I think it's inexpensive it does a fantastic job we have about 10 of these beverage holders at our house we have all different colors all different sizes but when we go to the beach i bring a drink for everybody in our family or everybody traveling with us because brecken has a friend this week so everybody can drink take their drink to the beach so this is arctic it's double insulated you gotta get your reusable straw don't get a throwaway straw or you can drink right out of the lid if you want to it's got a snap shut so your drink won't spill but I like a straw so I keep mine open I got my little cute striped reusable straw I put ice in this this morning we've been out here for a couple hours it is still completely full of ice and I have my water in here because you got to have your water at the beach I take one of these to work with me every day and when I come home at night and I put it in the kitchen and the next morning there is still ice in there these things are fantastic you can buy them in like a six pack or something or just singles but arctic beverage coolers must have at the beach all right what's next in my beach bag well pringles i gotta have my pringles you gotta have snacks at the beach and we're pringles people all right Whenever we get to the beach, we go to the grocery and we get a bunch of snacks and I love trail mix. And so this is from Winn-Dixie because that's the grocery up the street, Honey Bee Mix. And it's got dried um, bananas and sesame sticks. It's got some almonds in there and some other nuts. But this has been really good. You can see I bought this yesterday and it's almost gone. So Honey Bee Mix. All right, next thing my beach bag. Let me just tell you. I love to read. I absolutely love to read. If I'm at the beach or I'm out by the pool, I'm reading a book. And y'all, I would love to talk about books. If there's any of you all who are interested in um, talking about books and, and sharing great books that you've read, I would love to talk about it because I love to read. I know people who say, well, I'm just going to see the movie. I am never a movie person. I love the book. If I ever see the movie, it ruins it for me because when I read a book, I create this life in my head. I create what people look like, um, their mannerisms. When I see the movie, I'm always so disappointed because it never matches the version I created in my head. And what I create is actually better than the movie. So I never see the movie. I always read a book. When we would travel, I would take stacks of books with me. Like, I love the actual books. I love to touch the pages. I love to turn the pages. I love the smell of a book, and I love to go to the library. I could just sit in the library and just peruse the books all day long. So I would check out books from my library and take them to the beach. 
Well, when you're gone for a long time or you go through books quickly, that becomes really hard for me to do. And so last year for Christmas, I gave in and I got a Kindle. Didn't know about it. I know a lot of people love a Kindle. I was kind of just on the fence, but my mother-in-law um, asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And so I decided let's just give it a try because we were getting ready to go on vacation and we were going to be gone for a while and I just couldn't, you know, handle the books. So. I bought, or she bought for me, a Kindle. And y'all, I gotta say, I love this thing. I know there's all kinds of, ooh, I'm sweating, all kinds of levels of Kindles. They can be really advanced or really simple. This is the most basic Kindle on the market, and I bought this cover for it. This thing has been fantastic. I can read a book, I can sit here, I can download another book. I don't have to carry around big heavy books that take up a lot of room in my suitcase. And one cool thing is this cover has a magnetic strip. So when I open it, it turns on the Kindle. When I close it, it turns off the Kindle. So it's not using any uh, of the battery life and it automatically marks my page in the book. This thing has been fantastic. I didn't get, like I said, the fancy version. This doesn't have all the backlights. I can only read it basically when I'm outside, but I don't know if you all can see this. It is so bright and fantastic. And if you wanna turn the page, you just tap the screen and it turns the page for you. And you can set up your font size. You can do all of these settings on what you want your screen to look like. But I absolutely am loving this thing. It tells you at the bottom how much reading time you have left, what percent through the book you are, and then if I don't want to read, shut the lid off. And this thing holds battery power for days. I mean, I don't even know that I'm going to have to charge this thing while I'm here for the week because this was like $80 and I think the case was $20 or something. It has been a super, super, super great gift. I love the Kindle. So if you're somebody who loves to read, but you've been reluctant to get one of these, you should give it a try, y'all. It's been great. One thing I will tell you, when you go to set up your Amazon account to download your books, it asks you on there if you want to pay an additional fee to not have the ads, I don't know if you can see that, pop up on the screen. And I thought, I am not paying that. These ads are not gonna bother me. And I am so glad I did not pay that fee. And here's why. When you open the cover of your book, there's an Amazon like flat screen ad. That is the only ad they're talking about. That is it. Stuff does not pop up while you're reading. It's just a static ad. And then you swipe the screen to open your book. Don't pay the extra money. There is no point. And I don't remember what it was. It was something like 20 or $30. Don't do it. You're throwing your money in the trash. It's not worth it. But look how crisp and clear and clean that reading is. This thing has been great. So now my Kindle goes with me everywhere that I go. And these little covers, you can get fancy covers. You can get leather, polka dot, all the different colors of covers. I just got your basic. Um, Kindle cover it came in like five colors it just keeps my Kindle clean and kind of out of the Sun and I love the magnetic off and on and it marks my place so it's great love my Kindle so when I go to the beach how am I taking all this stuff with me well let me show you it is called a bog bag. This is my bog bag. <sighs> Y'all, this is almost one of my favorite things in the world. It's called bog. B-O-G-G. -G. And it is a line of bags. Whoops, my tape. It's a line of bags made for the beach or for the water, going to the lake, going out on a boat. They come in all different um, colors. I don't even know how many colors there are now and different sizes. This is the large bag. I actually have the size down that I carry with me to the ice cream shop every day. I put my MacBook in it and pins and my sandals and all this stuff. This is the large size. 
It is um, made out of this strange material. You remember back in the day when we used to wear Crocs? Well, it sort of feels like Croc material. It's super thick and durable, has fantastic handles. It has holes in it for airflow, a solid, steady base, so it is not gonna tip over. And if you get it dirty or get sand in it, you just rinse it out. I love these bags. I don't know if you can get them on Amazon. If you can, I'll put a link below. I got mine at a local gift shop um, where I live. Actually, my husband got them for me for, actually, Christmas last year. He got me two sizes, and I just went with the gray. But they have red, green, blue, pink, like all kinds of cool, fun stuff. And something super neat about the bags, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. They have a little zip, a little zip bag inside that is attached to the side of the bag. And because there's holes in the bag, you can move that little zip pouch wherever you want to. So I keep stuff that I don't want the sand to get on, kind of in my little zip pouch. I keep my Kindle in there so that it doesn't get sand on it. I love these bags. They are, in my opinion, a little bit pricey. I don't recall exactly what they were but I want to say this big one was like $60 I don't know if I can find a place online for you to order them I'll link it um, if not if you're in your hometown or you go somewhere that has um, little boutiques or gift shops look for the bog bag because they are fantastic the last thing I want to show you I'm trying to get my husband he's behind me talking I'm trying to get him to make his debut on the channel and he doesn't want to do it. So I'm going to tell you about his favorite thing. This is his go-to beach product. So when you go to the beach, you drink beer, right? Or some sort of little beverage. And we use, it's called a Bromate. It is this insulated can cooler. And there's lots of these on the market. We have probably bought them all. And a lot of them don't work. They're cheap or it just doesn't keep your drink cold. But this Brewmate is fantastic. We got out this little beverage, drank half of it, got in the ocean. We were probably in the ocean 20, 25 minutes, something like that. And um, when we came back, finished our beverage and it was still ice cold. This little Brewmate works fantastic. It's just, I don't know if it comes in colors, don't know, it's my husband's thing. But it's great. We've had it all summer. We use it out by the pool. Now we're at the beach. And it is definitely our travel um, accessory. It is going with us on a big trip. Now, if there's something that you all keep in your beach bag that I don't know about, like some cool device or thing that I need to have, comment below. Let me know what it is because I got to be prepared. We take our big trip in the winter. We go to the beach and we go out of the country. So I have to have all of the best things with me because where we go, I'm not really able to buy a lot of things. If I forgot something, you just kind of have to do without. So let me know if there's something that you love or you use that I need to know about, something I need to have in my beach bag. It is, I keep moving the camera because it is about 4.30, 5 o'clock here. The sun is going down. It's kind of right in my face. But we're in Panama City Beach for the week and I just wanted to share with you all what's in my beach bag. I'm going to do several videos from the beach because I'm just chilling and relaxing and loving the beach, guys. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It's where I like to talk about life, things I love, things that are going on, my hair, my curly hair, going gray. Yeah, there is going to be a whole video about this gray hair on the beach and how it kind of makes me feel having gray hair on the beach. The gray hair is kind of giving me some, some weird feelings this week. So we're going to talk about that. It'll be later, but for now, I'll see you.